Today's book is called The Mitten, and it's written and illustrated by Jan Brett. That means she wrote the story and she drew the pictures. It says, The Mitten, a Ukrainian folktale adapted and illustrated by Jan Brett. This book is really special because these pictures on the side give clues to what might happen in the next pages. So I'll read the story and then I'll bring it closer so you can guess what might happen on the next page. Once there was a boy named Nicky who wanted his new mittens made from wool as white as snow. Do you see? She's getting out some yarn, some white yarn. At first, his grandmother, Baba, did not want to knit white mittens. If you drop one in the snow, she warned, you'll never find it. But Nikki wanted snow white mittens, and finally, Baba made them. So what's going to happen? It's going to snow, right? That's his Baba. His grandmother. After she finished, she said, when you come home, first I will look to see if you are safe and sound, but then I will look to see if you still have your snow white mittens. So off Nikki went, and it wasn't long until one of his new mittens dropped in the snow and was left behind. Do you see the mitten in the snow? Yeah. There's Baba. So in this, there's a animal. Hmm. Let's see what will happen with that animal. A mole, tired from tunneling along, discovered the mitten and burrowed inside. It was cozy and warm and just the right size, so he decided to stay. So the mole went into the mitten. Let's see, who do you think is going to go next? Hmm, there's your clue. A snowshoe rabbit came hopping by. He stopped for a moment to admire his winter coat. It was then that he saw the mitten, and he wiggled in, feet first. The mole didn't think there was room for both of them, but when he saw the rabbit's big kickers, he moved over. So first the mole went in, and now the rabbit has gone in. And look who might be next. Hmm. Next, a hedgehog came snuffing along. Having spent the day looking under wet leaves for things to eat, he decided to move into the mitten and warm himself. The mole and the rabbit were bumped and jostled, but not being ones to argue with someone covered with prickles, they made room. Okay. Hmm. Looky here. As soon as the hedgehog disappeared into the mitten, a big owl, attracted by the commotion, swooped down. When he decided to move in also, the mole, the rabbit, and the hedgehog grumbled. But when they saw the owl's glinty talons, they quickly let him in. Talons are right here. Look how sharp they are. They moved over and made some room. Now look at our next clue. Hmm, I wonder what animal is that under the tree? Hmm. Up through the snow appeared a badger! He eyed the mitten and began to climb in. The mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, and the owl were not pleased. There was no room left, but when they saw his diggers, they gave him the thumb. All right, let's look over here. What animal is that? Who's gonna try to get in? It started snowing, but the animals were snug in, a, in the mitten. A waft of warm steam rose in the air, and a fox trotting by stopped to investigate. Just the right, oh, just the sight of the cozy mitten made him feel drowsy. 
Drowsy is a word for sleepy. The fox poked his muzzle in. When the mole, the rabbit, the hedgehog, the owl, and the badger saw his shiny teeth, they gave the fox lots of room. What's happening to that mitten? It's stretching and getting bigger and bigger, isn't it? Look at our next clue. Whoa, do you think that guy's gonna fit? I don't know, let's find out. Oh, look, can you see the hedgehog's prickly sticking out? A great bear lumbered by. He spied the mitten all plumped up. Not being one to be left out in the cold, he began to nose his way in. The animals were packed in as tightly as could be. But what animal would argue with a bear? The mitten was swelled and stretched. It was pulled and bulged to many times its size. But Baba's good knitting held fast. I guess he fit in there. Look who might be next. Hmm. Is there room for one more? Let's see. Along came a little meadow mouse, no bigger than an acorn. She wriggled into the one space left and made herself comfortable on top of the great bear's nose. You see her on his nose? Look how big that mitten has gotten, goodness gracious. Oh, here's our clue, sorry. Hmm. What is the boy thinking? Hmm. The bear, tickled by the mouse's whiskers, gave an enormous sneeze. ah The force of the sneeze shot the mitten up into the sky and scattered the animals in all directions. Here's our hint. Hmm. On his way home, Nikki saw a white shape in the distance. It was the lost mitten silhouetted against the blue sky. Look what's floating in the sky. As he ran to catch his snow white mitten, he saw Baba's face in the window. First, she looked to see if he was safe and sound. And then she saw that he still had his new mittens. You see her face in the window? Now she's looking, she says, hmm, one is much bigger than the other. Thanks for listening to this story. I really hope you liked it. It's one of my favorite wintertime stories to read. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys!